Good morning from the National Weather Service in La Crosse. This is a severe weather briefing for Sunday, July 12th, 2015. There is a possibility of a round of severe weather across the area for this evening into the overnight areas. The expected hazards with this severe weather will be damaging winds and locally heavy rains. For today and tonight, there is a large area of severe weather possible from the Canadian border southeast through the region into the Ohio River Valley. Within this area, the highest probabilities for severe weather will exist across Minnesota into portions of western Wisconsin and northern Iowa. The main threat for severe weather within this area will be damaging winds and the highest probabilities for damaging winds will exist over southern Minnesota into Iowa. There still will be the threat for damaging winds around this area covering much of the state of Wisconsin. Along with these damaging winds there will be the potential for some heavy rains. The area in blue here shows where rains in excess of three quarters of an inch are possible and there could be some locally higher amounts exceeding one inch over parts of Minnesota into Wisconsin. Now looking at a forecast radar image for around 10 p.m. this evening, a line of storm should be approaching from the northwest and be residing over parts of northwest Wisconsin into southern Minnesota. This line of storms will move into the area shortly after midnight and then continue to move on to the southeast and exiting out of the area between 3 and 4 a.m. Now that scenario that we just showed all depends on a warm front that is currently over parts of South Dakota and Illinois moving north into the area. Satellite imagery this morning shows a large area of cloud cover north of this warm front covering much of Iowa into parts of southern Minnesota and southern Wisconsin. If these clouds persist into the afternoon, the warm front likely will not be move into the area and will be held farther to the south. If that happens, the forecast radar imagery could look something like this, where two areas of storms will be developing late this afternoon or into the early evenings. Both of these complexes of storms will then be moving on to the east during the evening hours, still approaching the area around 10 p.m. or so. But as the evening would wear on, the southern complex of storms could become the dominant one with the severe weather going more into Iowa and missing the local area. So our summary points for this severe weather episode. If the clouds dissipate and the warm front moves into the area, severe weather is expected for this evening and tonight. Damaging winds and locally heavy rains would be the main threats and this would mainly be in the late evening and overnight hours. However, if the warm front stays to the south, the severe threat would shift to the south as well. You can stay up to date with our forecast by using our internet homepage or our social media outlets.